that a refusal to change and a refusal to adapt has actually led many civilizations to total extinction. I am Dr. Praveen Anvekar, orthopedic surgeon from Davangere. My concern is, while the whole world is fighting against coronavirus and its impact on human life, how in India we can reduce its impact when the people around us, those who are ignorant, don't follow the basic rule of lockdown and social distancing. Can you please help regarding this and explain? This is not time for bravery, carelessness or rebellion. A refusal to understand the gravity of the situation is not only prevalent in India but in many other countries too. Many nations and communities who have taken the COVID crisis lightly are today paying a huge price. Can you believe it? They are actually having to choose whom to give the ventilator and support and whom not to. We Indians are very lucky that our government woke up much before other governments did and imposed restrictions. Look at it this way. Just as when a tsunami rises, you bow down to the power of nature and you run away from it. The coronavirus is a force of nature. Bow down to it. Respect nature's force by remaining indoors. Let me tell you a story today from ancient India. In India was a famous philosopher teacher who taught non-duality, Advaita as the nature of existence. He taught his students that everything was Brahman or the supreme essence. One day in a clearing outside a forest, he was teaching that. He was teaching human beings, animals, trees, bugs, earth and sky, all was Brahman. There was nothing that was not Brahman. Even as he taught this, an elephant in heat was rushing towards the clearing. Listening to the warning shouts of the Mahout, the teacher and the students all ran to safety except one student. He stood in front of the elephant that was going crazy in spite of the Mahout shouting from its back. The crazy elephant lifted the student with its trunk and threw him on the roof of the hut nearby and continued running down the street. The Bruis student angrily came to the teacher and shouted, your teaching is wrong. If I am Brahman and the elephant too is Brahman, why did it hurt me? To which the teacher compassionately asked, but why did you not listen to the advice of the Mahout Brahman? That is why you had to pay the price. The leaders of our country, the doctors, nurses, our healthcare professionals are like the Mahout in the story asking you to make way. They are asking you to stay indoors till the danger has passed. Let us not please act like the foolish student who thought nothing would hurt him. Let us move from unawareness to awareness. Let us respect our leaders and make way for the danger to pass. Nature is kind. Nature is benevolent. Nature can also be fierce. When nature is kind and benevolent, be grateful. When nature is beautiful, celebrate her splendor. When nature is fierce, bow down with respect and maintain a distance. Before I end, let me remind you that a refusal to change and a refusal to adapt has actually led many civilizations to total extinction. As a race, I'm sure we don't want to enter history. Let us be alive. Let us be current. This is a small thing. Don't make a big deal of staying indoors. Please.